Immunotherapy is kind of a complicated term, but it's really just describing the idea of waking the immune system up. We all have immune systems that protect us from infections, uh, flu, viruses, bacterial infections. Cancer has evolved to find ways to fool the immune system. So a person can have an intact or healthy immune system, and yet cancer has managed a way to grow in, inside the body. These therapies are designed to convince the immune system that that cancer shouldn't be there, to kind of wake the immune system up, recognize the cancer, and, and have have that be the way we fight cancer. And right now, uh, these therapies are showing um, effectiveness in a number of cancer types. The approval in the U.S. at least is in uh, melanoma for a couple of agents, a drug called pembrolizumab and a drug called nivolumab, and then most recently in squamous lung cancer uh, with a drug called nivolumab. We expect in the next many months and hopefully even sooner, that we'll have uh, more drugs on the market uh, for patients. I, I've been to a uh, presentation already this morning where there's activity in liver cancer. We know about activity in renal cell cancer, uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma, breast cancer, bladder cancer. I mean, there's a number of areas where this idea of turning the immune system on could be an effective strategy in fighting cancer. Immunotherapy, um, it's, it's important to counter the excitement with uh, the potential hardship for patients. Right now, in general, I think it's uh, most doctors or researchers would say these drugs as a class are much easier than our standard chemotherapies uh, that we use to treat any cancer. You don't see the typical things like alopecia low, or hair loss. Lowering of the blood counts is very unusual. Feeling bad or getting sick is, is not something that's common. But there are a different range of toxicities that can include uh, uh, things that doctors, oncologists are not used to seeing. So effects on the immune system uh, can potentially interact with uh, our thyroid gland, our, our hormone functions. It can inter interact with how inflammation develops in the lung or in the colon. So these are things that appear to be manageable, but doctors are going to have to become, and patients and families, are going to have to become more attuned to looking for these things and saying, you know what, this could be related to the immune therapy I'm on, and we may need to think about treating this a little bit differently than we have in the past.